and then under settings you also have a couple of other options you can select your attendance input cycle which is by default or the very first you can select it to be whatever you want as per your policy and you can limit the backdated attendance regularization applications uh, how many of these can your employees go back in time to apply for the regularization I mean, for example if they have taken a leave on the 5th of september can they regularize that leave on the 13th of september 14th of september if yes you can enable this and also put the days or you can put a count uh, how many days can your employees go back in time to apply for the regularization of the past two attendance i'm going to do the next 10 days and you can also limit the total number of regularization applications I'm going to do the rest of the day. That's 10, 15, 20, 25, and that's going to be the So this will be the total regularization that your employees will get an option to apply for. Beyond which, there is no option to apply for a regularization. It will be straight away a loss of data. You can also manually run the penalty reduction uh, task from your end. I'm going to save this for now. And then you have an option to uh, disable the reminders that has been sent by the system to your employees on a daily basis. The daily attendance report, the late early function reminders and the regularization reminders can be disabled or enabled as per your preference. Uh, we also have a multi-level approval system in the system. If you enable that, you will get this uh, skip level approval uh, that gets enabled for your employees. And this is for the biometrics. So we take care of the biometrics integration ourselves. So if you have biometrics machines installed at your premise, so please do contact us. We'll take care of the integration from the back.